Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today was Wednesday the 14th, and today was a beautiful day outside weather-wise, nice and warm, I think it reached the low 30s, something like that today, a little bit of wind, but not bad at all, a lot of the snow was melting off, so it was nice and slushy and slick and kind of gross, um, overall, couldn't really complain though, went ahead and um, got up this morning, kind of got a little bit of a, actually got a way early start, um, woke up way too early, uh, luckily I was able to get back to sleep for a little bit after I went and did a handful of things, so I don't know if that counts as a nap or not, if you, you know, basically go back to sleep before you normally would have even got out of bed, so I'm not really sure how that falls into it, but maybe I call it a nap, maybe it's not, whatever, so anyway, got a handful of things done, um, after I got it, actually before I got up, so I went back into bed and that, then I got up, um, got a few more things done, just general, same old stuff, it seems like. Ended up um, jumping on um, runningwarehouse.com, and there was some stuff I've been looking at. Went and did some research, found one of the items, nine bucks cheaper on Amazon, and called them up, and I just found it's easier to price match on the phone than it is through email and that, and I actually ordered online. So I went ahead and called them up, and they're super awesome about it. This time, they didn't even actually look to see, so I don't know if she'd seen it elsewhere at that price, or if she just accepted my word on it, because I've done it about, I don't know, probably four out of the last five orders, I've had something to price match, so it might be in my file just to go ahead and, you know, I've never been wrong yet, so I went ahead and gave it to me. I went ahead and ordered uh, a couple more pairs of shoes, some um, Yanks um, shoe laces, which are those bungee core type laces, I love those things. If you are a runner, actually if you're not a runner, and you wear tennis shoes or anything with like laces in it, get these things. You set them once, actually it takes you about four times to really get them set properly, but once they're set, you just forget about them. And if your feet swell a little bit, they're good to go. If you pick up a rock, you can just knock your shoe off real quick, dump the rock out, throw it back on, no untying, tying, no worry about tripping your shoestrings, no worry about things being double knotted, none of that stuff. So I absolutely, absolutely love them to death. I mean, these are like the best, you know, eight bucks you'll spend in your life on a pair of shoestrings. So Went ahead, um, got a couple of those ordered also. Got a pair of um, Yak Tracks, which are like a um, studded um, chain type system to put on the bottom of your shoes. I was gonna throw some um, screws, some sheet metal screws into some shoes and that for winter time, and then decided to heck with it. These things were like 20 bucks and 66 cents like that. Went ahead and ordered them in, plus I had a 15% discount. And then I also had my gift cards I'd bought before, which were about 25% off. So I did the whole math. I had $291 worth of stuff that I was buying at full retail with sale prices, price match, all that kind of stuff. I spent like 98 something and change on it. So super excited about that. Not quite $200 savings, but pretty damn close. I was absolutely loving that fact. So definitely a um, big, big fan of that. I did order one of the pair of shoes. Um, it's like a size and a half bigger than normal. So I want to wear that. I'm going to make that my um, super long cold run um, shoes so I can throw on a couple extra pairs of socks and see how it goes. I got to thinking about it and I don't know why it just it never really dawned on me before. Winter time I wear one pair of socks and one shoe. Summer when it's 30 below zero. Summertime it's 95 degrees I wear one pair of socks and one shoe. So why am I not wearing a thicker shoe uh, you know, a bigger shoe to fit in a couple pair of socks or in thick socks also. So, gonna go ahead and look into that. Like I said, hopefully these shoes will fit well with that with an extra pair of socks in them. I've got some wool socks I had for a while from Ingeon, which is my toe sock company, and then I got some running socks that are, will fit over top of it. Works good. I tried some of my regular like just walking around socks I'd never wear anymore, and my feet sweat it's so bad it was so gross because they just didn't they were caught and they didn't breathe or they am so got a nice pair of running socks over top of them and it seemed to work pretty good so i'm going to order a couple more pair of those and see if i can keep my feet warm so i went ahead um took off got my run done today training only cold for two miles i knocked out just a smidge over three had a half mile warm up half mile cool down kind of thing in there so it worked out well um was on pace trying to get into that weird pace thing so I usually have not been trying to run any set pace so it's really kind of messed up my mind a little bit went pretty well though the roads were gross so I was covered in sand and junk it's just always oh, gross out there because uh, in Iowa they throw so much sand on the road and this salt mixed brine crap that's supposed to melt ice and it's just disgusting my dog is all covered in it and his belly is gross too so got that somewhat cleaned up I did wear a brand new pair of shoes that I got here a while back and I realized I hadn't ran them I'd walked in the house but hadn't ran in them Wanted to make sure they were fit for that right size and stuff. So went ahead and ran those days. It's always fun running a new pair of shoes on a crappy, slushy day. So you feel like you're just almost thrown away. It's like you take these beautiful, gorgeous, clean shoes and you go out and you run and just get them nasty and just dirty and just 
I don't know, it kind of feels good. There's a little bit it feels good about it, also kind of feels bad. You kind of like having a clean shoe for a while. So went ahead and got that done. Um, pretty much just had a good old time there. This afternoon, I decided I was going to start throwing away and going through and minimalizing a bunch of junk in my life. So I went through and started getting rid of a bunch of stuff. I've got a few boxes of like um, running gear that I won't need till next spring, like summer type running gear. Threw that in a box, labeled it. Um, I've got a box full of running gear of stuff that I don't think I'll ever need to basically, I guess, loan out and or just give away to other people. I'm like that idea of keeping this kind of running. Like I've got a bunch of stuff over the years that I've bought I didn't really care for or I found better. My buddies did the same thing, gave them to me. So I've got this big box of stuff. I like the idea if there's somebody new into running, I can go, here's 25 new items, you know, new to you, used to us. Try them out, find the stuff you like best about them, keep those or order the ones you want, you know, that'd be like that. And then basically just kind of have that, bring it back, rotate out to the next person. So it's always kind of nice to be able to have that little ability to let people try out stuff that they probably would have never tried before and save them a buttload of money. Cause like there's a fuel belt that I, it's like water and a little pot, like a little fanny belt thing. I think it was like $39 and that thing is complete shit. I hate it. There's no drinking spot in the water bottles. They're giant. They're like three inch openings. It's awful. It's like a Mason jar. They're so gross. Um, I literally had to come to a stop to take a drink out without just spilling water all over myself. So that right there, in my opinion, it's the biggest waste of money ever. And hopefully somebody else will wear it, try it out, and they'll see the same thing, and they'll feel the same way. But always, nobody really believes you until they try it themselves. So, got that box full of stuff. I got some stuff to take out to the garage. And I've got a bunch of stuff just been put in the trash pile. I mean, like, it's literally going to go to the dump. So, stuff that I know has value, I know somebody out there could use, but I've never found that person yet. And it's been a couple years, and I'm just tired of looking at it. So, straight up going to the dump. So... That was my biggest thing uh, today. I was just feeling really good about throwing some stuff out. I also end up hanging up a few new things. Found some old pictures and stuff, which was kind of nice too. So, other than that, it's pretty much the only thing going on. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.